The Battle of the Bulge, World War II. The Battle of the Bulge, also known as Ardenas Offensive, was a major German offensive campaign on the Western Front during World War II, which took place from December 16, 1944 to January 25, 1945. It was launched through the densely forested Ardenas region between Belgium and Luxembourg towards the end of the war in Europe. The offensive was intended to stop Allied use of the Belgian port of Antwerp and to split the Allied lines, allowing the Germans to encircle and destroy the four Allied forces and cause the Allies to negotiate a peace treaty in the Axis powers' favor. The Battle of the Bulge remains among the most important battles of the war, as it marked the last major offensive attempted by the Axis powers on the Western Front. After their defeat, Germany would retreat for the remainder of the war. The Germans achieved a total surprise attack on the morning of December 16, 1944, due to a combination of Allied overconfidence, preoccupation with Allied offensive plans, and poor aerial reconnaissance due to bad weather. American forces bore the brunt of the attack. The Germans had attacked a weakly defended section of the Allied line, taking advantage of the heavily overcast weather conditions that grounded the Allies' superior air force. Fierce American resistance on the northern shoulder of the offensive around the Elsenborn Ridge and in the south around Bastogne blocked German access to key roads to the northwest and west that they counted on for success. Columns of armor and infantry that were supposed to advance along parallel routes found themselves on the same roads. This congestion and terrain that favored the defender threw the German advance behind schedule and allowed the Allies to reinforce the thinly placed troops. The farthest west the offensive reached was the village of Foy Notre Dame, southeast of Denain, being stopped by the U.S. 2nd Armored Division on December 24, 1944. It was around then that the weather conditions got better and it permitted air attacks on German forces and supply lines, which ultimately sealed the failure of the offensive. On December 26, the lead element of Patton's U.S. 3rd Army reached Bestow from the south, ending the siege. Although the offensive was effectively broken by December 27th, when the trapped units of the 2nd Panzer Division made two breakout attempts with only partial success, the battle continued for another month before the front line was effectively restored to its position prior to the attack. In the wake of the defeat, many experienced German units were out of men and equipment, and the survivors retreated to the Siegfried Line. The Germans' initial attack involved 410,000 men, just over 1,400 tanks, tank destroyers, and assault guns, 2,600 artillery pieces, and over 1,000 combat aircraft. These were reinforced a couple of weeks later, bringing the offensive's total strength to around 450,000 troops, 1,500 tanks, and out of those, between 63,222 and 98,000 of these men were killed, missing, or wounded in action, or captured. The battle severely depleted Germany's armored force which remained largely unreplaced throughout the remainder of the war. The German Luftwaffe also suffered heavily. Remember, if it's more interesting, you can find it here. Make sure to like, comment, and hit...